Hello, my favorite people. So, uh, do you remember uh, last week how there was a sketch that you didn't get to see it finished because it was actually a different commission? Uh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. So, if you want to see the sketching process for this piece, then go to my previous video. It is there. It's a very brief. But here is the lining process and the background process. This one was actually a lot of fun. You know, I used to absolutely hate drawing kimonos and those kinds of Japanese outfits because first of all, I'm not Japanese in any way, shape or form. I don't know anything about the culture. I I'm not like one of these weebs that is so into Japan and like knows every tradition, everything. I know nothing. I know not a single thing. So it's kind of kind of awkward for me to draw these kinds of things. Like I try to do my best to do research, but yeah, if I get something wrong, please don't be mad at me. I really did try my best. Uh, but yeah, here she is, the cute little wolf girl with the cute little umbrella. She went to a festival and now it's getting dark. Uh, obviously, she was at the festival earlier when the sun was out. That's why she has the umbrella. But now it's all getting dark, and you'll see later that it's nighttime in the drawing. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with the umbrella and the kimono, actually. <laughs> Funny saying that because I used to hate drawing kimonos, but now I kind of love them. I, I love putting all the little patterns on the dress. You can see I'm trying out different flowers, different lace patterns, different colors. Uh, the commissioner didn't really specify what they wanted, so I had a little bit of creative freedom here, which I <laughs> really liked. And uh, as you'll see soon, I... I think I did a really nice job with the with the kimono and the colors of it. I also think that my shading here is quite nice. You'll see later that I did a lot of reflecting lights on her. Uh, the background is quite messy. I'm not quite used to drawing these kinds of backgrounds, but I did my best and I think um, trying, you know, doing something uh, that you consider is bad is better than doing nothing. Because, you know, as an artist, you're your worst critic and like, even though I might not think it's the best thing I've ever drawn, I'm pretty sure that everyone else liked it, so it's okay. And you know, as I said, it's better to, to try than just to not do it ever, you know? So I'm glad that uh, I did this. It's a very nice drawing. Uh, once again, here is the white hair shading. I know I mention this every single time, but I'm really not a fan of shading white hair. But as you can see here, I feel like I finally kind of grasped it. Uh, I'm, I'm beginning to use like purple instead of gray, but I think later on I do kind of change the colors a little bit. I think the first step is just to get the shading done, and then you can mess around with all the colors and all the layering modes later on. Uh, but yeah, you never know what it's gonna look like until the very final steps, right? This is a thing in art that your art, like your sketching, your line work, your colors, it's all gonna look like not the greatest until you do that final like effects and those final like uh, colors. So as you can see here, I'm making it all nice and sunset and I'm trying to make it fit into the background. But then... I, I somehow just randomly changed the colors, just like boom, and I was like, whoa, this looks so much better, and so I just kept it. <laughs> it was an accident, but it actually ended up looking so much better, which is insane. Uh, but yeah, here it is. Uh, the, the, the bottom down there is the stalls, you know, because it's a festival. And then little lights, and then I tried to give them like a little bouquet effect, but I don't know how well I did on that, but you know. I think, I think it's nice. I really do think it's nice in the end. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!